It's been a very busy week for Manchester United in terms of transfers. The Frankie the Young situation is right at the precipice. We're going to get that here we go very soon. And we got it last night for Tyrell Malassia. The 22-year-old final left back is going to be Eric Ten Hag's first signing this summer. What about a centre-back? What about Lissandro Martinez? There's been so many rumours and reports this week about Arsenal and their interest in him. But honestly, there is no chance he joins Arsenal ahead of Man United. And I might have egg on my face at the end of this transfer window, but I don't think I will. Because if two offers are on the table, there's only one choice he's making there. And Arsenal are just setting themselves up for disappointment. I think his move to United will happen ahead of Arsenal. And I want to explain exactly why in this video so please if you do enjoy it do agree with it you let me know in the comments as you always do but make sure you subscribe to united people's tv if you are new and you enjoy it hit the subscribe button down there hit the notification bell as well by the end of the video if you do have a good time but let's talk about it and what i want to do is run through how this transfer has developed because you can go back as far as may 18th of may here from mike mcgrath saying that manchester united manager eric ten Hag is eyeing a raid for Lissandro Martinez. And that's kind of after the stories of Yuri and Timber went a bit muted and quietened down after it's it's it seemingly he's decided to stay at Ajax for one more year for the development of his career. His choice, I hope I wish he didn't, but we move on. And what we've done is we moved on to his partner in defense, Martinez. If you get Mike Provide here from Telesport, he was saying very clear at that point. He goes, There's a lot of interest in Martinez and Anthony and Timber, especially from United, but it's almost ruled out that they will leave Ajax due to their price tag. 70 to 80 million for Anthony, 50 to 60 million for Martinez and Timber. Because Ajax have, are in this position now where they've sold Halle, they've sold um, Raven Birch, uh, Masrawi's left, Tagliafico might leave. Edson Alvarez might leave. They've put big price tags on the likes of Anthony, Martinez, and Timber because they don't particularly want to sell them this summer. Uh, here you go, Ian Whittle saying the same thing as Mike McGrath there. So all the reliable journalists that we consider reliable here on United People's TV are all saying the same things. Ajax are in a position where they're going to put an inflated price on these players because they don't particularly want to sell them this summer. And the only way they're going to sell them is if someone comes in big. Now, Arsenal started sniffing around. Went in there, Mike Ravage confirming they put in an offer of 40 million. Ajax wanted 50 million, as was said in that article there. And Ar Arsenal were trying to move around. Sam Dean from the Telegraph here saying, man, Arsenal were trying to move quickly to sign him. We go down here and we see what their offer was worth. Around about 35 million pounds, rising to 40 million with add-ons. Not too far short, really, of what Ajax's um, price tag was. But this is the thing I really do not understand about what Arsenal are doing. Honestly, I don't understand it. David Ornstein last night confirming that Manchester United, following the agreement with Tyrell Malassia, are now going towards reaching an agreement with Lissandro, with Ajax for Lissandro Martinez. And Fabrizio Romano confirming that the bid from Manchester United is coming in. We're moving through our targets. It's almost like we're doing the work and the work is now coming to fruition. Kind of what I felt the whole time. And it's something I was trying to pass on to United fans. That feeling of that anyway. And then Sammy Mockbell from Daily Mail. Who's actually been quite decent this summer. Who was it? He got Tom Keane spot on. There's a couple of other things he's called early as well. He said last night that Manchester United have had a bid of 34.5 rejected for Martinez. Probably the exact same offer here that Arsenal put in this week. So maybe we've just, maybe all we're doing there is matching Arsenal's offer. But this, as I said, is a thing I can't get my head around. Because Ajax, not Ajax, sorry, Martinez is only going to accept one offer from those two. If he's got two on the table, there is zero chance he chooses Arsenal. And that's what I mean when I said, I honestly, for the life of me, do not understand what Arsenal are doing here with Lissandro Martinez because they're just setting themselves up for a massive disappointment. Honestly, I, I, I'm, I've got no doubt that this video will get clipped up, taken out of context and used against me if Arsenal sign Martinez. And maybe I would deserve it at that point. But Arsenal, obviously, they're disappointed of what happened with Rafinha. And I think that was a kind of an unlucky situation. But if you look at it, we always knew that Rafinha's preference was Barcelona. I think he's still waiting for Barcelona, but Chelsea came in, hijacked. That, used to, that seems to be the buzzword of the summer transfer window, isn't it? Oh, it's hijacked this deal, hijacked that, that deal. 
Arsenal effectively, what they've tried to do here is take advantage of Manchester United and our delayed negotiations with Frankie de Jong. And they've gone, right, okay, let's try and get Lissandro Martinez done quickly beforehand. But that was never, ever, ever, ever going to happen. Because Ajax want nothing more than a bidding war. Ajax, I think, are going to stand firm on that price tag. 50 to 60 million euros for Martinez and Timber. It almost seems like Arsenal had this idea that they could go in and quickly sign him for a price that's less than what Ajax have been asking for. Whereas in reality, all Ajax are going to do is hold and hold and hold because they know full well that Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United are going to come in for Lissandro Martinez. We are going to probably beat the offer that Arsenal put in. So why on earth, why on earth would Arsenal, sorry, would Ajax accept that offer from Arsenal? All they're going to do is sit there, ignore that offer and just wait for Manchester United. And all of a sudden, right on cue, reports that Manchester United have put in a bid for him. Reports from Fabrizio that Manchester United are indeed preparing a bid for him. Reports from David Ornstein that Manchester United are now focusing on trying to reach an agreement with Ajax for Lissandro Martinez. And I just don't know why Arsenal have done this to themselves. Because you are just setting yourselves up for another massive disappointment. Sorry, lads. You were disappointed after Rafinha. You thought that your club was changing and moving forward. You can't compete with Manchester United when we've got Eric Ten Hag as our manager. It's, it's foolish. Why would Lissandro Martinez put these two clubs alongside each other? We're both fallen giants, considering we've fallen from where we were. The best ever rival that rivalry I think there will ever be in the Premier League was that Arsenal and United period. But we've both fallen, both outside of the Champions League next year, both projects still. But Eric Ten Hag is our manager. The manager who brought Lissandro Martinez into Ajax, the manager who turned him into the player, not turned him, but moulded him into the player that he is today. Why on earth would he choose Arsenal over that? He would not. Of course, we moved on to Lissandro Martinez after the Uri and Timber situation developed. I don't think Martinez is going to care that much about that. He, he's, he's been given an opportunity that he otherwise would not have because Uri and Timber was the first choice from Eric Ten Hag. But Yuri and Timber has decided at this point in his career, at 20 years old, that he is going to be staying at Ajax. Look, fair enough, he's made his own choice. I disagree with it, obviously, because he's not joining Manchester United. But Arsenal would just, I, I don't, honestly, I, ca I cannot get my head around the thinking, the thought process, that if they went in early with a bid like that, not even, the, not even a top level bid, 35 million, it's less, it's, it's, if you go back towards what they wanted here, 50 to 60 million euros, and they've lowballed with a £35 million pound bid. Did they really think that Ajax were just going to accept that out of hand? The perfect situation for Ajax in a summer where they don't want to sell these players. They do not want to sell. They don't want to sell Anthony, Timber and Martinez unless big money, irrefusable offers, an offer that can't be refused comes in and Arsenal are going to sit there and lowball and try and negotiate them down. <laughs> it's stupid. I honestly, I don't know why. I don't know why Arsenal are doing it to themselves because there is only one choice that Martinez has, and that's I'm probably going to wait for Eric Ten Hag. There's only one choice that Ajax have. They're going to wait for Manchester United, and now Man United have come in. As I said, it's been confirmed by David Ornstein that the next target is Lissandro Martinez. It's been confirmed by Fabrizio Romano. The Man United are preparing a bid. And then you got Sammy Mottbell from the Daily Mail saying that the bid's already gone in. I expect massive developments and quick developments this weekend, but I just do not, for the life of me, understand why Arsenal were setting themselves up for this. Because when Manchester United signed Lissandro Martinez, that's going to be two targets that they've gone after this summer that have decided, ah, I'm going to go somewhere else. The Rafinha one, I think they can feel a little bit begrudged about. But I don't know what they're doing going after this Sandro Martinez, knowing full well that Manchester United are coming in for him and B, that Ajax don't want to sell him and therefore the idea of a bidding war is what they're going to wait for. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Maybe Ajax will surprise me and accept this Arsenal bid and, don't wait, and won't wait for Manchester United to come in. But I don't know why they would. 
because I think Ajax will stand firm on their valuations. The valuations that Mike Bavage said that they're going to have 50 to 60 million euros. I imagine around 50, yeah, 50, 55 will, will be what he costs. That's fair enough. But I can't get my head around it. I want you to let me know in the comments. Arsenal fans, I'm sure you will jump on the comments of this video as well. Why are you doing it to yourself? When ultimately, I think you know, it's just going to end in disappointment because given the choices, why would Martinez choose you? Honestly, if you do have some reasons, let me know in the comments below. I'd be very interested to know.